This video contains spoilers of Twin Peaks up to Season 3, Episode 4. If you haven't finished this episode, please consider adding the video to your watch later queue. We will be waiting for you. Hello! Welcome, I am the Old Tin Man, and if you're like me, you have been engrossed into Twin Peaks' new season, a wonderful revival of the original series that feels just like home. This show has sudden twists and turns that make us question what is actually going on. One of the questions that arose when watching the first episode was, what is this clear box and what does it have to do with Twin Peaks? Let's take a closer look at what we know so far and theorize this glass box. If you are new to my channel, first off, thank you for joining and consider subscribing for future Twin Peaks analysis videos. I plan on releasing more videos on this series and reviewing it throughout the new season. Thank you everyone for watching. We are first introduced to Sam, an unknown character with no backstory that we can at least see. Sam puts off a strange vibe, as he is under the employment, if you call it that, of a sketchy organization where he keeps an eye on a clear box. But he is still in a David Lynch production, so it's customary to act strange at any given point during your performance. So we will just have to assume that Sam is one of the most ordinary New York City citizens for the time being. Sam's duties are to keep track of what happens inside a glass box and keep records on film with cameras spread across the room at different angles. He keeps all the recordings inside a cabinet with much more documented tapes. The clear box is not the only thing in the building being watched though, as a security guard is constantly on watch of Sam's room. The security guard keeps tabs of Sam's progress and ensures that Sam is the only body in the empty room. Now we have Tracy, presumably Sam's girlfriend slash lovemaker, joining the scene with uncertainty of Sam's role in this building. While Tracy isn't gaining access to Sam's room, she seems to check on Sam on a daily basis, until one day the guard isn't at their post allowing Tracy to enter the room with Sam. Sam explains his duty to Tracy on how he is one of the many people that has watched over this box for some time. One thing led to another and both Sam and Tracy are naked and in love. During this sudden act of love, the glass box started filling with a dark substance, and suddenly a dark bodied figure appeared shaking. As both Sam and Tracy found fear in this eerie monster, the entity banged on the glass, shattered it, and broke out, mutilating the two. Based on what we have seen so far, we can presume that this box is a portal from the extra-dimensional reality, being the Black and White Lodge. To be more specific, we have seen Cooper appear in this box from the non-existent universe, shown in episode 2. Moving forward to episode 4, we find Agent Preston describing their investigation on the murder of Sam and Tracy to both Gordon and Albert. Preston clarifies that the front pointing camera saw the abnormal looking creature in the glass box, but the other angled cameras didn't see anything out of the ordinary. This might show that the creature was intentionally looking out towards Sam and Tracy. Preston continues to explain that once the creature moved, it disappeared. Therefore, the glass didn't shatter making its escape, shown in the first episode. Tracy is one of the most interesting characters in this part of the plot, as the audience doesn't know her intentions besides wanting to get into the unknown room with Sam. It's unsure what Tracy means to Sam, but her persistency and eagerness makes me question why she doesn't just set up a date with Sam at Starbucks. It seems like both of them like coffee anyway. Is it not enough for you to have a casual date with Sam? You want to intrude in a secret organization with the possibility of being snatched by the Hulk's brother. It almost feels as if she has other intentions than to just see Sam. The organization that's orchestrating this project must have some enemies if they need to keep people out. Although when Tracy is able to get a chance to enter the room, the security guard is mysteriously gone. Even Sam explains how strange and unusual the situation is. This doesn't feel just like a coincidence that the guard disappeared once Tracy arrives. I find it quite odd that the guard took off all of a sudden. With that face, who can't take their job this seriously? From the looks of the situation, this was arranged to ensure Tracy's entry in the mysterious room, making it a possibility that Tracy is in fact a spy who neutralized the lookout. Perhaps she was given the task to get close to whoever was in the room at the time to discover the secrets within the organization, which resulted to her demise. Who is funding this project and who is rich enough to pay for all the moving pieces? Whoever is in charge knows about the extra dimensional reality that exists in their world, and it's possible that they are inspecting its capability. The funder could also be attempting to stop anything from leaving this extra dimensional place, but why? 
Sam announces in the first episode that he is unsure why he is required to watch the box, besides checking for anything to appear. This presents the thought that Sam and the other observers are only hires that know nothing about the company's objective with this project. Knowing what we have seen in the first episode, the box is clearly unsafe to be around. By choosing oblivious candidates that are an outside source to watch the box, it could be a possibility that the corporation might already know of the risks with the glass box. Assuming that this project is being controlled by an evildoer, we might be finding Evil Cooper being the one financing this project. As it has been 26 years since we have seen Cooper possessed in the finale of the original series, a lot has happened since then. It's possible that the possessed Cooper could have been dealing with illegal activities to acquire dirty money over the 26 years to fund this project. Cooper also isn't reluctant to kill anyone in his way, so why would he care about the innocent watching over this box? Only a small amount of people know about this extra-dimensional reality that is the Black Lodge, but nobody knows it better than the soul possessing Cooper's body, a host that resided in it for god knows how long. After all, Evil Cooper knows how to gain entry to the Black Lodge and how to exit it, so it could be a possibility that he knows of this New York City portal. Evil Cooper could be keeping tabs of the portal to buy him more time in the real world, as he has said he doesn't plan on returning to the Black Lodge like he is expected to do. We have also found out that Evil Cooper does have a half million contract for his life, which might be the same people that sent the possible spy Tracy to discover the glass box. In the second episode, Cooper finally leaves the Black Lodge, although not in any way he expected. During his final moments in the Red Room and its hallways, Cooper was deceived by the doppelganger of the brain-stemmed tree, the evolution of the Dancing Dwarf. The doppelganger screamed non-existent, and suddenly the floor collapsed underneath Cooper. Cooper falls into an endless starry sky, where he unexpectedly falls onto the box, slowly sinks and hovers in it. This is the same time that Sam left the room to find Tracy, waiting alone in the next room. Soon after his arrival in the box, he disappears before we see Sam and Tracy enter the room. Going back to Agent Preston describing the murder of Sam and Tracy in episode 4, not once does she mention Cooper's appearance in the glass box. If Preston's team was investigating the cameras in that room, they would have reviewed the footage from at least the moment Sam exited the room to meet Tracy. If this was the case, they would have found Cooper's body floating in the box, but it seems to have been impossible to see to the naked eye. Although it's unclear why Cooper wasn't noticed by any of the cameras, but we can assume that whatever appears in the box can be only seen by certain individuals, such as the sight of the dark creature jumping out at Sam and Tracy. Sometime after Cooper departs from the box to go back into Limbo Land, Sam and Tracy obviously enter the room to find the dark figure in the box. If we assume that the monster entered the box in a similar way in which Cooper did, there's a chance that it's been tailing Cooper. It would be interesting if this creature was the Electric Tree's doppelganger, who pushed him into an unknown reality, where it soon followed. Although both the tree and the dark figure don't have the same body, they have very distinguishable looking heads. The Electric Tree might be presented differently in the real world than its original reality. Since this monster is aggressive and jittery, it might resemble the aggressive banging from the non-existent room Cooper finds himself in soon after leaving the box. If this is the doppelganger, it would be an interesting plot twist to see all the doppelgangers revolt and attempt to escape the Black Lodge entirely, seeking havoc against the real world. This mysterious dangerous glass box is one of the most bizarre things in the new season of Twin Peaks. What else can this box do and why is it in New York City? If more information arises about the glass box, expect me to analyze it even more. What do you guys think the meaning of this box is and who do you think is funding it? Thank you everyone for watching the video and if you want to subscribe to keep up to date with my new analysis series on Twin Peaks. Check the description and the end card for the playlist of this series. Let me know in the comments what you guys want me to analyze next in Twin Peaks. Find me on the social medias where you'll find Twin Peaks randomness. Thank you everyone and I'm looking forward to hearing from you.